Winds are beginning to pick up and we're looking at a breezy night. Meteorologist Brian Schofield joins us now with your full lifestyle weather forecast. Brian. Well, guys, check out these highs today. Warm, but not too warm. These are some very nice afternoon highs. They won't last. We're going to get them much warmer than this, but lower to even some upper 80s through the upper desert, 70 through the pass. Pretty strong onshore flow. Most of it stayed around the pass area and, of course, coastal areas and that type of thing, inland areas. But here in the desert, not so much, but just enough to cool things down a little bit, just a little bit. Things are going to change up, of course, uh, upper Midwest, central plains is going to be the focus area for some rough weather once again. Uh, disturbance really rolling its way through the Great Basin. In behind it, high pressure builds in, and as it starts to slide over Southern California, that's where the heat will come from, that's for sure. But in the meantime, at least, at least for tomorrow, let's say, uh, dry conditions, yes, but also gusty conditions across the valley and beyond. The fire danger really moves its way into New Mexico and parts of Texas. But for us, well, I guess there's always a fire danger as dry as we are. Uh, but we're also very warm. But another area that's going to be warm is going to be the northeast. Does that sound shocking to you? This is how we'll feel on Wednesday. Pittsburgh, and you can see D.C., 95 to 100 degrees. That's how we'll feel. Sticky weather, of course. For us, dry but hot, and all the wet weather stays out of the way to the north. Here's the next seven. Remember, we promise you temperatures that'll be near uh, 110. Yeah, we'll be right there. We'll be in the realm. That's a promise you'd like us to break, right? Overnight lows into the 70s. Afternoon highs, very warm over the weekend, but before and even after the weekend, staying pretty hot as well. All right, Gino, Elizabeth. All right, thanks, Brian.